hey, it's Corblin here. I'm going to try to show you how to play one of my songs. It's called The Truth Comes Out. It's a couple years old. It's on my uh, Hair in My Eyes Like a Highland Steer record, but it's got a couple subtle chord changes in it that, that are a little trickier than some of the normal ones I use, so I thought I'd show you. Um, I've seen it done a couple times wrong on the net, so this is straight from the horse's mouth, as it were. The main part of the song is, is D minor to C. Typical campfire C. And then B flat major, and you can play it down here with the bar, or you can play it up here. I I, I play it up here usually because sometimes, especially live when I'm trying to sing, it's it's hard to grab a, a full bar chord. So D minor, campfire style, C, campfire style, and then B minor. And that's that's uh, a handy chord to know actually because the full bar chord major chord of B minor in this position would be like this. But a handy thing to know is if you just forget about the low E string, you can play any of those major chords just by grabbing it like this, and that's a good one to pick up. So I'll just sing a verse so you get the idea of it. The truth comes out as the fire burns low, come to light as only embers glow. The whiskey talks, the west wind moans in the night. Go back to C, and turn around, it starts again. Um, and most of the dynamics in this, or the build of the song, is, is mostly dynamics. It just does that same chord progression over and over and over. And, and the build of the song, instead of going verse, chorus, verse, chorus, is mostly based on the instrumentation. I get louder and quieter, and the band slowly comes in in layers. But uh, so one more time, the main part of it: D minor, C, B flat major, back to D minor, a little turnaround on the C, and then start again. And then the bridge is the tricky part. And it's written that way because that's sort of the key, one of the key sort of verses in the song. So it sort of emphasizes it with the changing of chords from a songwriting standpoint. But so the verse, um, second verse after the instrumental break goes like this. It goes, The white man lights a big fire, stays cold. The red man's warmer, but the old man's old. The antelope seeks the buffalo in the night. Up to that point, point it's the same. But then it kind of goes back to the B flat major. The antelope mourns the buffalo in the night. And then instead of going to the D minor, you play the relative major, which is the F chord. And then you play the fifth of the F, which is C. C sharp half diminished, which is like a passing chord. And very cool. Back to the D minor. So one more time, that one verse that's a bit different goes... White man lights a big fire, stays cold on the D minor. Red man's warmer, but the old man's old. See? Antelope seeks the buffalo in the night. Yeah, the antelope mourns the buffalo in the night. F, C, C sharps, half diminished, D. That's a great chord too. C, uh, C sharp half diminished. When you go, anytime you go from C into D minor, it sounds awesome. It's like pseudo jazz. Anyway, um, that's pretty much it. And the rest of the song just sort of fades on that same earlier progression.